Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Welcome to Spagaver's Garage. I'm Mark, and today we're going to be installing a piece underneath on that rear diff to kind of cool it off and keep it from overheating so that oil isn't spewing out that vent on top. So let's take a look at what we're going to be installing. Okay, so this right here is the piece. This is the Varus Engineering rear differential cooling plate. And you can see what it is. It actually goes this way. So air comes in here, hits this, comes up, and cools the fins, which are on the back side of that rear differential. So it comes with the plate itself, which is, uh, you know, it's got rivets across the sheet metal. Here it's, uh, looks like powder coated black. And then you've got the accessory bag here, which has a Varus Engineering sticker. The instructions, actually, not much of an instructions. It's just kind of do it on your own. And then the bolts, washers, and nuts to put it on. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing jacked up and see if we can figure out exactly where the bolts and everything go and get this thing mounted up. So because I've lowered the car, I now have to roll it onto some two by fours or some sort of wood uh, or ramps or something to get it up off the ground enough to get the jack under there because I can't get, even though I've got a low profile jack, I can't get it under the car anymore. So we'll do that right now, get it up. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it jacked up enough that I can get under there and have plenty of room to work. And so what you'll need is an eight millimeter wrench or socket and a thrill three millimeter Allen wrench. And that's all you need to get it on there. So I'm gonna crawl underneath there, bring under the camera and a light so you guys can check it out. All right, so there you guys go. Pretty simple install. Now, I will say that uh, I wasn't sure how it went on there. So it actually, the, the inside rail that's riveted on and the back of the panel actually sandwich the fins, the actual cooling fins that are there. So you push it up onto there and then that's gonna push the air up through the fins even better than what I had thought it would. Um, now, because of that, the bolts actually go th between the fins and then it sandwiches it together as you tighten it. What I found on mine, and yours may be completely different, hey, maybe mine is set up weird. Uh, I actually had to file out the holes a little bit in order to get the, the screw, the bolt to fit through there because it was hitting on the, uh, on the fin. Like it was, when you look through the hole, you couldn't see the whole hole. You could only see like a half moon because the fin was there. So I had to ream it out a little bit so I could get the bolt through there. And then I had to switch it around because I thought maybe it went with the uh, nut inside so it was a cleaner look. But it's really, uh, it was impossible to get in there the way that I needed to, um, especially laying under it. Now if I was up on a lift and be able to get under there, maybe it would have been different. But so I've got the bolt head forward and the nut aft, which works and uh, maybe not quite as clean maybe that's the way it's supposed to go I don't know because I didn't see it there's no pictures there's no instructions uh, but it was actually a relatively easy install even with having to ream those out a little bit I think the whole thing took me about 10 to 15 minutes that's getting the car jacked up getting under there figuring out the layout coming out using the drill or the Dremel to to clean that out a little bit and then install it so 
not too bad at all easily done here in the driveway uh, you don't need a lift don't need any special tools or anything like I said eight millimeter wrench or socket and a three millimeter Allen tool so that was it hopefully this solves the issue with the differential overheating and it's spewing oil all over the place it's clean down there as you guys saw so hopefully it stays that way we'll keep checking back and see if it does all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys have any questions any comments leave them down below make sure you check out the instagram it's at spagivers garage and if you like this if you like the content that i've been putting out go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the little bell notification bell uh, and you'll get notifications every time i upload a video we got a lot more coming. Uh, again, let me know what you guys want to see. What do you guys want to see with the Supra? All right. I'll see you guys.